live stream. We are in an undisclosed location in London. Uh, as you can tell by the title of this event, a very public torture. We have with us uh, Raymond Johansson. Raymond, good evening. Good evening. Um, what you're about to tell us is exceptional, remarkable beyond words. Um, would you like to give an overview of what you're here to do today? Yes, uh, I wouldn't mind, but I will do so anyway. <laughs> um, this is very simple. Uh, Raif Madhavi uh, is, is my brother. Uh, and Raif Madhavi used his voice uh, to tell people about non-violent things. Uh, and he blogged. He was a journalist. And he be became affected. Uh, and he became so effective uh, that he became a threat to people um, in Saudi Arabia uh, that didn't like what he had to say. He ended up with 10 years in prison as a, uh, as a verdict and a thousand lashes, 50 every Sunday after, uh, 50 every Friday after uh, uh, prayer. Uh, in public, in front of people, flogging, publicly tortured. Uh, I'm here today to move the medieval flogging practices of the Middle East and other countries to the heart of Europe to demonstrate what it really is, what torture really is. I've experienced torture before, so this will be one of the hardest days I've ever had uh, since 2002 when I was tortured. Uh, it's not going to be fun at all, but I promised Rave's family that everything would be alright. And I cannot, for the life of me, not do everything I can to put a spotlight on uh, his plight uh, and the sorrow of his family. And the plights of all political prisoners uh, around the world. This event was actually planned for next week, but there's uh, an urgency. Can you explain the urgency? Uh, we have uh, certain sources in the Gulf states, uh, and uh, we came across some, some rumours. Uh, and I do not intend to go into those rumors, uh, but they gave to us a sense of urgency. Uh, and we feel we need to be proactive uh, and make a point to make it more difficult for the Western governments to overlook what is happening to Raif Badawi and what is potentially happening to Raif Badawi in the next uh, couple of weeks. As you know, in the UK they have even said, let's not interfere with the judicial system of Saudi Arabia. When well, everybody full well knows that the judicial system of Saudi Arabia consists of religious fanatics and religious police. Uh, a group of people that Raif was in fact very critical of in his blogging, rightly so. Uh, so it's not a judicial system to respect it is a treatment of Raif Badawi to react strongly to and forget that you will lose money uh, because the Saudi Arabians will cancel contracts for buying a weaponry if they don't shut up about Raif Badawi like Sweden did. It's a corrupt little thing and I want to help make it impossible for politicians across Europe and the US to look the other way uh, because their corporations needs to make money uh, as they did in 2000, 2014 when they make, made Saudi Arabia the biggest arms importer in the world, number one on the list. I think they bought more weapons in 2014 than all the other NATO countries put together. Big money and little thought for humanity. Like a collective sanctioning of torture through trade? Yes. 
the Lake Bagari situation uh, is a little bit uh, uh, further uh, complex is that uh, Rafe is of uh, ill health currently as well, isn't he? Yes. Uh, um, everybody will understand. I have to, will have to be careful. Uh, and I will only uh, use secondary sources, uh, what Americans will call hearsay. Um, but those that have spoken to him uh, have been able to do so for shorter and shorter minutes and have reported that his health is deteriorating. Uh, I have heard that his weight uh, has gone down, he's very skinny, uh, and his uh, mental strength has been reduced uh, to a point where his family and close supporters are and have been for a couple of months very worried, as am I. Saudi Arabia is not the only government regime that's implicit in torture of its uh, civilians. Um, you, you do, I believe, you have a message for others, uh, uh, friends and colleagues uh, incarcerated around the world also. Yes, uh, most of you will not even have a clue who I am, but I work with Free Allies. And Free Allies is, is uh, an organization that works for the persecuted, uh, fallen, and the jailed anons, our hacktivists, our enforcers of transparency, those that shine a light on governments that do wrong. Uh, and, and I can start by mentioning uh, Barry Brown, go on with Jeremy Hammond, uh, go via John Carl Cowden, uh, and so on and so on. All at some point co uh, connected to Lulzac uh, or Anonymous. Uh, and I work tirelessly to help them, but those are not the only ones uh, that I focus on. Uh, I'm not just uh, an adult. Uh, I am a pirate party activist. I work all over the world uh, and persecution, mass surveillance uh, of innocent uh, and the suppression of opposition to what governments do. Okay. Raymond? Raymond, what are you doing? My name is Raymond. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Hello.
Wayman, can I get you anything, mate? Raymond, you okay to speak? What? You okay to speak? Yes. If I can make sense. You're making perfect sense, mate. Uh, I'm in pain. Uh, I'm having flashbacks. Uh, and really not sure where I am in my torture chamber from 2001. It's, 20, it's 2015, mate. You're in London, UK. Yeah, are we, uh, are we okay here? We're, we're, we're okay. Uh, I just need you to watch my back. Uh, we got you. Uh, so, uh, well, it seems fucking crazy uh, to anybody that might have a watch. Uh, actually, makes sense when you understand. That I tried to move to terror and torture from the Middle East and the black sides of the CIA to the heart of Europe and make it more difficult for the fucking politicians uh, of Europe to turn the blind eye to what is going on with Raif Badawi and 30,000 other prisoners of conscience in Saudi Arabia and tens and tens and tens and thousands of others all over the world including the Western world like the USA where I have at least a dozen brothers in jail just for speaking the truth or uncovering the truth or enforcing transparency uh, where the governments deny to do so or pretend to do so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I need to uh, take a little break in speaking. I'm um, dealing uh, with some shit inside myself. Okay, right. Okay. Just make sure that he connects to me. Yeah, you've got my details, so you can copy so, yeah. There's been the Guardian, we can leave on it, won't it? Yeah, I'll be talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. After the time you took that classic photograph of us, too, you know, people went nuts for that. Really? Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's it's very difficult. artistic it's as well. It's difficult as well because the light looks like this, it's such low light, and you need to get onto this by a thought up here. You've got a bit of light so it'll actually work out a bit better as well. It's down there. Yeah, that's the thing. Top of the stairs. 
reliable to get you back to cycle back boards. That's why, you know, on last last year, on this, yeah. um, that's when they were all kicking off down there. Oh, it's it's that. This is public land, you can do what you this want. This is public, you can do what the hell you want. Right. So once you get down to the stairs, it's Westminster Council. So that can be the same, part of the same bylaw that we've got on Parliament Square. We're going to do that uh, thing again where I interrupt. Uh, not going to be able to stand on my feet. For oh, bless you. Like, let's, let's get a move on them. Ray, sit down, mate. Sit down and do it then, yeah? Just pull this out of it. Can you sit on there, Ray? Take your seat, mate. Uh, I want to get away. I, I want to do, uh, try to see if we have some problems. Maybe it's 15 more minutes until you see them. I don't know. But... We'll have a look. Yeah. We need a really hot bath. That's You're how broken. fucking hard. That's how hard. I didn't fuck about. Shit, the bed. So, just please. Can we can uh, pull that out. Oh, oh my god! Jeez. Jesus! Right, what are we going to do? Come round it, Tony. Just hold that to there, like that. Oh my days! They're black. They're gonna go black. Come here. It's all about Ray. Yeah. All about Ray. And especially about himself. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do? I'll get him. We'll go to the camp. We'll hold him. Just here, yeah. Actually, we're going up beside that way to put some puzzle behind. You know what? Just keep the cat out to slide this way a bit. I've got a clean shot. Sorry, I do apologise, but I need a clean shot for the boots. Sorry, sorry, but. Showed me that you understood. Absolutely. Do you get me? Absolutely. I will do whatever I can. Like I said, Tony knows anyway. You know, one of the key things I cover is social injustice. I mean, a lot of people don't necessarily agree with the things that I write, because I have to try and look at it from a balanced viewpoint. But at the same time, with something like this with David Bradawi, you cannot look at balance because of the, the meritocracy that's been handed down to it without any justification. So you can't look at that, you can only look at that from the fact that it's completely wrong what he's been dealt with, you know, in terms of the lashes, it's tinfully made. So, hats off to you. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Man, yeah. Man, uh, I, I would like you to be that the last time that you commend me, because uh, in this situation you are infinitely more important to me, to Raif and his family, and a lot of other people than I am. So, when I say thank you to you, you should take that. I do. I do. And, and, so, thank you. 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 Th
Thank you. Keep in touch, Trouble. I've not got no card to me, so I can't give it a card. He is Trouble. Tell me about it. I just want me to give it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts, Ray? Uh, uh, my thoughts are, are broken. Uh, I'm just hoping that uh, a few people uh, gets the point uh, and that people like the journalist we just had a little chat with uh, manages to present it in the way so a lot of people can understand a little bit more. At the same time my brain is visiting 2002 yeah. and my torture and uh, pain is a trigger so I'm having flashbacks and I'm not really sure where I am and I'm not really sure how more longer I can stand and I really feel like I need to uh, get to a place where I can sit in a corner like Morgan Kane uh, and feel safe uh, because well, I haven't felt safe in, in 13 years. Uh, and now I'm rambling. Uh, I hope you can forgive me for that. Anybody listening? Uh, and understand, I for no, there is no way uh, I will let you believe that I did this for myself. Uh, I did it for Rafe and his family. Uh, and for all the other persecuted, uh, we are talking free speech, freedom of religion, uh, and freedom from state-sponsored torture uh, and attempted control of, of its citizens by using penalties and jailing and violence. Uh, and I need to take a break again from speaking. It's understood, right?